Good morning, YouTube. It is your boy Thomas, and today we are back with Supreme Week 9. Gonna go through the full drop list with you guys, gonna highlight some pieces, talk about what I'm gonna go after, and what I think the best item of the week is. Let's go. All right, so coming off week eight with the spring tease, I was able to get the Ralph Stedman box logo and the Little Kim, so really happy about that. Actually, my first box logo ever able to cop manual off the site. I think it not saying Supreme helped a lot with that. But without further ado, let's check out week nine. So it might look at first glance like just your average week, you know? We got some crew neck sweaters, couple jackets, never really bought the $300 jackets for me personally, but uh, I know that that is kind of a cool piece for some people. I think these are a, a bit of a sleeper hoodie right there, just a kind of collegiate supreme. I don't know exactly what that item is called. I can go to the preview. I actually went to the preview to look at some of these, but I think they have some funny items like the mac and cheese. I might throw that in my cart. I don't know. There's like the collectability of these kind of items for me has never been there. Like I've always just used them like the Supreme um, bags that they came out with two years ago. I had those for a while, the um, the gallon bags. I still have a few, so actually, the sandwich bags too, which are pretty funny. Uh, the markers, I think, are pretty goofy. For me, 48 bucks is a little bit too much to go after that, but it's definitely one of the classic funny Supreme items for accessories. I really, though, like the special offer tee. Now this is super loud, but there's just something about this like Japanese supermarket advertising that I just really like. I love the big light flare right there. All the different types of kanji, the big kanji letters, um, the katakana right there. But yeah, no, I think this is a really neat item. It's got fruit and everyday use products, Supreme. Like it's super loud, but I think an item like this would be a pretty fire, like bold piece. Set, certainly something that I would have gotten in high school, you know, as like a surprise factor to wear. I don't know how much it fits in with my style today, but it's definitely a really unique piece that I think will go underappreciated this week. I also really like the Supreme Paint skateboard. Ever since copying the Burberry board, I've actually wanted to start collecting Supreme skateboards. I don't know about this one, but it definitely has a unique look to it. Like for me, I thought of a newspaper the first time I saw it, but it's definitely like a paint can flattened out and like taken off from like the cylindrical design and stretched out to include supreme branding and like don't drink the pain shit which is funny and then i wanted to bring up the s logos just to kind of commentate on how far this hat has come like down in popularity like i remember when you know 14 15 16 was happening those seasons the s cap and then anything pink was so hot. Do you guys remember when Supreme had every item in pink and it would just always sell out? Like, what happened to that era? I guess, you know, things come in styles, so it'll certainly be back, but you don't see that really anymore. Any particular color being the chase color for people to go for. I just thought that was interesting. Back to the drop page. You know, it is kind of a basic week. There is some, some tote bags, it looks like, which are pretty nice. Can we go to the uh, preview page and go look at those totes for a second? Let's go bags, because those could be nice if you're looking for a tote bag. Of course, it's not loading right now. There it is. Okay, Supreme, not listed, question mark? I suppose not. So these are an unlisted tote bag and the backpack is as well. I have no idea. I don't think this is releasing. So that's strange. And then also without further ado, let's discuss the Julia Fox potential poster coming out. Julia Fox, quite a year guys. You saw her in Uncut Gems. This is a pretty dope picture. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, 
money, alcohol, the fucking skateboard. This dude's passed out on a plane. But I do think that it's interesting. Is that a Supreme, like, eye pillow? I need that. Smoking, sitting on the plane. It's dope. And Sean wearing a Supreme. Yeah. He's wearing a leopard print uh, eye pillow. If that comes out, I'm definitely buying it. Shout out to my eye pillow boys in the chat. Uh, get your eight hours of sleep every night. Seriously, guys, you're staying up too late and you're looking at your phone. I'm looking at you. Shut it down, okay? Get your sleep. Put on that night filter, you know? I'm talking about that orange light. You're getting too much blue light. But that's pretty much it. Are these Dockers? Those could be kind of kind of sleeper. I feel like Supreme's pants get underappreciated a lot of times. Like, they are a bit expensive when it comes to just like, you know, you can get a pair of Levi's, like 100 bucks, slightly less. And I've never personally got a pair of Supreme pants, but don't sleep on your lower portion of your body, guys. You know, there's nothing wrong with just getting the classic just blue jeans, you know, maybe you just want some blue jeans, but apparently, you know, people are saying that there will be a, a poster coming uh, from Harmony Corinne, don't know if that's the, the director of this video and pictures, but that's pretty much it. Are you guys going to cop anything from this drop? What's your favorite item? I got to say sleeper item of the week is the special offer tea. But that's been all from me, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.